I didn't get much sleep last night thinking about underwear. Have you ever stopped to consider underwear in the abstract? When you really dig into it, some shocking problems are raised. Underwear is something we all have to deal with. Everyone wears some kind of underwear. Have you have seen the underwear ads for men and women? So alike, but so different. Women's underwear holding things up. Men's underwear holding things down. Underwear is one thing men and women have in common. Underwear is all we have between us. You have seen the three colored pictures with crotches and circle to show the areas of extra strength and three-way stretch, promising full freedom of action. Don't be deceived. It's all based on the two-party system, which doesn't allow much freedom of choice, the way things are set up. America, in its underwear, struggles through the night. Underwear controls everything in the end. Take foundation garments, for instance. They are really fascist forms of underground government, making people believe something but the truth telling you what you can or can't do. Did you ever try to get around a girdle? Perhaps nonviolent action is the only answer. Did Gandhi wear a girdle? Did Lady Macbeth wear a girdle? Was that why Macbeth murdered sleep? And that spot she was always rubbing, was it really in her underwear? Modern Anglo-Saxon ladies must have huge guilt complexes, always washing and washing and washing. Out oh, damn spots. Rub, don't blot. Underwear with spots, very suspicious. Underwear with bulges, very shocking. Underwear on clothesline, a great flag of freedom. Someone has escaped his underwear. Maybe naked somewhere. Nope. But don't worry. Everybody's still hung up in it. There won't be no real revolution. And poetry's still the underwear of the soul. And underwear still covering a multitude of faults in the geological sense. Strange sedimentary stones, inscrutable cracks. And that only the beginning. For does not the body stay alive after death? And still need its underwear? Or outgrow it? Some organs said to reach full maturity only after the head stops holding them back. If I were you, I'd keep aside an oversized pair of winter underwear. Do not go naked into that good night. And in the meantime, keep calm and warm and dry. No use stirring ourselves up prematurely over nothing. Move forward with dignity. Hand and vest. Don't get emotional. And death shall have no dominion. There's plenty of time, my darling. Are we not still young and easy? Don't shout.